There are 83 children on a playground. 46 go in for lunch. 29 come out from lessons. How many children are on the playground now? So we know the number of children who were on the playground already. We know how many went in for lunch. We know how many came out from lessons. And we need to work out how many children are in the playground now. Notice how I've drawn our bar model. On the top line, we have the total number of children who were in the playground, either because they were already out there or because they came out from lessons. Then, on the bottom line, we have what happened to those children. They either went in for lunch or they are still in the playground now. So we know that 83 were on the playground already, 46 went in for lunch, and 29 came out from lessons. So there are different ways that we can solve this problem, but to start with, let's work out the total number of children we had in the playground at some point. If you add 29 to 83, and you might need to use column addition for this, but you should get a total of 112. So there were 112 children out on the playground at some point. But 46 of them went in for lunch. So we need to subtract 46 from our total of 112. Again, if you use column subtraction to work this out, you should get 66, so that's the number who are in the playground now. But there is a different method we could have used to work this out. What else could we have done? We could have started with the 83 children who were on the playground and then subtracted the 66, sorry, the 46 who went in for lunch to get 37. So there were 37 children on the playground. But then 29 came out from lessons. So if we add 29 to 37, we get 66. So we know that 66 children are on the playground now. As a challenge, pause the video and see if you can change the bar model we have here to show this different method. So perhaps your bar model looks something like this. Or perhaps you found a different way of representing the problem. With bar models, there are often different ways that you can represent a problem rather than there always being one right answer.